So in this burn, we were looking for a large area burn. We had two rooms, total measurement about 35 by 15, and the ceiling, like I said, was about six and a half feet tall. Not very tall. Uh, we obviously knew that this was gonna be the most difficult fire of the day. We used this room as sort of, this is where the extension was gonna come. And in the video, you'll see Kyle opened his nozzle right there, hit it for a little bit, moved in, and I'll let him take us through the rest of it. So when they called for the attack team to go, I had fire burping out of this opening here. I didn't wanna just dive into this area with that much fire, so I did do a short burst, a hit and move, so to speak. I flowed water for maybe five seconds and then shut down and took a knee here and reopened. And I flowed and moved up until this point. And we had talked about before that if I wasn't able to capture it with the blade, I was going to move to straight stream. And it was at this point where I was real close to moving to straight stream. But I, just, I decided to move forward about another four feet or so. And once I was able to get past this uh, opening here, and I stopped right here, it was like a light switch. So I had nothing but fire up until this point, and it was just this last four feet here that made the difference to be able to access the back wall and this also this fuel package on the side that was blocked by this wall here. Yes, but I was, that's true. Uh, there was a bunch of furniture on this far wall here that extended all the way to the garage. That's the garage you're looking at, the extra room there. So 35 feet away from the back wall, you're getting the fire out on that back area in the blade mode, the white blade mode. 